Hi everybody, my name is Dandy Reiner. I'm the owner of Hatchfinders Fly Shop in Livingston, Montana. That's where we're filming today. I'm happy to be tying once again for the weekly fly. Right now I'm working on a fly called the Double Beaded Stonefly. Um, it is our best-selling nymph out of the fly shop. We tie it in various sizes. Right now I'm tying a size 12. Uh, they work 8 through 16, uh, but the 12s and 10s are the most popular I have found. So, super easy to start with. I use a streamer hook, size 12, and I've got two beads on my hook. These are 3.3 millimeters or 1 8 inch. The thread I'm using is an ultra thread in black. 140. So I just start with a thread base right behind the two beads and take it to hook point, snip my tag end off. I'm using Goose Biot. You use quite a few strands of this Goose Biot, so it's a great way to use it up. And this is black, but you can use dark brown or olive. I start with the tail, and my tail is kind of splayed outwards. So I got one, one on, and I come around and I do the exact same thing, also splayed outwards. couple of wraps, trim off my tag ends. And I tie in a little bit of peacock curl. You don't need much. I'm going to use about this much here. I've got some nice long strands. I'm gonna, I'm going to snip off the ends there and I'm gonna tie it in right above the tail. And then I'm going to bring my thread forward to right behind the bead. And I wrap it around, kind of twisting it as I go, gently twisting it. And this makes a nice body. You can taper it. You can make it as large as you like, as slender as you like. You want it about half of the hook shank. A few extra wraps. Next, I tie in my back set of legs, and unlike the tail, which is splayed outward, I want the legs to kind of hug the body. So the curved side of the biot is facing the body. And you want to make them as even as possible with one another. If they're a sixteenth inch off, it's okay. Won't make too much difference. Trim off your tag ends. Those are our back set of legs. And it's at this point I put in my turkey. I've got a nice piece of turkey. Snip off a little less than a quarter inch, I think. And I tie it in right, right on top there. Make sure everything is cinched down nicely. And then I push this back bead back. And I come forward with my thread right on top. And I bring my thread to right in between the two beads. And I like to take my bodkin and I place it right against the, the bead towards the back and I fold that turkey wing 
right over the bodkin, right over the bead. It gives me somewhat of a crisp line. A few wraps to lock that down. And then I put in my last set of legs and I like for them to hug the body. Try and get the legs even with each other as best you can. Try and make it as symmetrical as you can. Trim off those tag ends of the biot, a few extra wraps, and then I push my bead back a little bit and I bring my thread over on top of that bead to bring it in front of the bead right behind the eye. And then I take my bodkin again and I place it right behind the bead and it makes a nice crisp line and I tie it down right behind the eye. Trim off the tag end of my turkey wing. This fly has been known to catch some very big fish out of the Yellowstone River. I've got pictures to prove it. <laughs> and this is where I whip finish it off. I've been using this Solar Res. It's um, a UV cure. And I put just a tiny little drop on the turkey wing casing. And then I put a black light on it. And it gives us this beautiful UV effect under the water. And that's it. That is the double beaded stonefly nymph.